I'm Kathy Pulaski, Director of Henry County Library System. Before I became a library administrator, I was a children's librarian for 10 years, and few things are as satisfying as helping a child connect with a book that they really love and that they will really enjoy. So I wanted to take a moment to answer a frequently asked question from the last few weeks. What should our children be reading while we're practicing social isolation? I've also heard from a number of adults who have said that while no one wants to experience a pandemic in their lifetime, and none of this expected this, they did think, as long as we're stuck at home anyway, this is going to be a great time for me to get through that list of books I've been meaning to read and just haven't had time for. But what they have found is that they're really struggling to focus, to pay attention, and when they do read, they're not able to retain what they read. They're having to reread the same page again and again to really absorb what they're reading. So they've asked for advice and what I've told them and what I'll share with you is this. Read something easy. Take it easy on yourself. Just because War and Peace has been on your list for the last 10 years doesn't mean this is the time to read it. It is perfectly okay to read short stories, to read magazines, to read an old favorite again. It's okay to read something that is just light and easy and that takes you away from the everyday. Escapist reading is legitimate reading. So what does this have to do with what our children should be reading? Just that we can extend that same grace to them. We're feeling stress, we're feeling anxiety, we're feeling a lot of uncertainty about what's going on in the world, and so are our children they can have a hard time focusing. They can have a hard time reading and retaining right now. This is the time to just let them take the lead in selecting what they want to read. Let them read something that's below their grade level. It's good practice and it reinforces the reading skills that they already have. If they wanna read something harder or more challenging, that's awesome. But realistically, if your child's attention span will only allow them to read long enough to read the cereal box while they eat breakfast, that counts. All reading counts. Reading a menu counts. Reading an email counts or a text message. Reading the instructions on a board game counts. Listening to a story read to them counts. Audiobooks count. Recent research has shown that listening to an audiobook activates the same areas of the brain that reading does. It's all reading and it all matters. So let your kids take it easy too. Remember that grade level is just an average. The thing you get home from school that says your child is reading on a 3.2 level is just a snapshot of how your child was doing that day. It doesn't mean that's all they can read. Let them read above their grade level if they're up for a challenge. And if they're not, let them read below their grade level just because it builds confidence and it reinforces their reading skills. What we don't want to do is turn reading into a battleground. I don't want that. You don't want that. Their teachers don't want that. So take it easy. Take it light. Enjoy reading with your kids. Read or listen to something together. Let your older kids read to your younger ones, but make it a fun part of your day. Remember, we have a full digital library that is available to you 24-7 at henrylibraries.org. If you do not have a library card, or if you have one but it's expired, please email us at getacard at henrylibraries.org. We would love to hear from you. Please stay safe and well. From our home to yours, enjoy this time reading.